And we'll just wait a second or two. Because there's a there's another Google Hangout on air that's just ending. So. No. When you sit when you sit that close to your computer, I can see all of your nose hairs. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> I have to <laughs> that's one of my nicest features. <laughs> I, I've always thought so. I know. So. <laughs> okay, well that's probably probably ready now. So um, well, welcome to session four of the Pixel Project's Music for Pixels Summer Charity Concert on Google Hangouts in support of the Celebrity Mail Role Model Pixel Reveal Campaign. Um, to find out more, you can go to the Pixel Reveal Campaign to End Violence Against Women at http colon slash slash reveal dot thepixelproject.net. I'm Scott Johnson um, here in Boulder, Colorado. Um, and I am the founder of uh, the Positive Music Association, We're promoting uh, music with positive messages and supporting artists that have that uh, uh, music like that. And also, I founded uh, World Singing Day to connect the global family through song. So this is a great fit uh, for the Positive Music Association to be a partner with the Pixel Project on this. So um, please join me. Uh, in welcoming our first two artists, Jenna Stanfield and Nathan as well. I'm Nathan. Hello, everybody. Yes, hello. Hi. Um, I'm just going to give the audience a little background on you guys um, before you get going, and then we'll just kind of jump right into... Uh, the criminal stuff, though, right, Scott? What's that? Really criminal stuff, though. We're going to leave that out, as we agreed. Yes, right, right. So... Um, so Nathan, I've known both of you guys for uh, quite a while. Actually, Jana was the first person I called uh, when I was thinking about forming the Positive Music Association back in like 2003. And just, I don't know, a few years later I met Nathan. But love them both. They're wonderful people, wonderful musicians, uh, inspiration for, to a lot of people. And uh, anyway, Nathan is a, a keynote speaker and recording artist and musician based in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, he's committed to inspiring people through his speaking and his music. Uh, he has a couple of CDs, one little by little. I love it. Um, yes, another his new, newest one, which is great. Um, our celebrations of life, transformation and evolution, and the oneness of humanity, delivered in a variety of popular musical styles. Did, it sound, did that sound a little canned? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I've heard it before, but you delivered it so beautifully. You did, Scott. You're really doing a good job on this. Oh, I like it. I think there's a career here for you. Yeah. <laughs> well, let, wait till I get to you. So I'll, let, I'll get to you right now. So, as some of you might know, Jana, the queen of heavy mental. I don't know if that's a good thing or what, but she's the queen of Thank it. you for saying that correctly. You know, some people do say heavy metal, and then they're really disappointed when that's not what I do. Yeah, like, this doesn't sound like Def Leppard or whatever. I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, no. um, Jana's music has uh, been heard on uh, TV programs like 2020 and Entertainment Tonight and Oprah and the movie Eight Seconds. I don't know how your how does your how does your music fit into a a a rap song, a rap movie like Eight Seconds. I don't know. You can talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, and radio stations all over the U.S. Her compositions have been sung by Reba McIntyre, Andy Williams, and others. And she shared the stages with uh, people like Kenny Loggins to the Dixie Chicks. And for the past 15 years, she's been uh, making her, her living as a keynote speaker at conferences and corporate events. And so welcome, you two. It's great to see your smiling faces, and uh, yeah. it's so nice that you guys... Uh, where are you guys right now? We are in Vancouver. Vancouver, okay. I'm not telling. We're moving targets. Yes, we're in Vancouver. Targets, okay. Oh, well, good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and if while we're doing this concert with uh, Jan and Nathan, if, if people, the audience, um, have questions, they can post, if they're doing it through um, YouTube, they can post their questions on the comment section or they can also post it in the Q&A space on the right hand side of the Google Hangout. Um, so anyway, why don't you guys uh, take it away? All right. Mm -hmm. The 
This song is called If I Were Brave, and I want to honor Regina for saying, if I were brave, I would take on this huge project to prevent violence against women. I also want to dedicate it to you, Scott, for starting the Positive Music Association. That was a big thing, lots of time, and it's brought so many musicians together for good. And I like those words, for good. You've brought us together for good. I've met so many other great musicians because of the Positive Music Association. So I ask you out there, what would you do if you were brave to prevent violence against women? What would I do if I knew I could not fail? If I believed with the wind always fill up my sail? How far would I go? What could I achieve? Trusting the hero in me. If I were brave, I'd walk the razor's edge where true believers dare to tread and never lose faith, even when losing my way. What step would I take today if I were brave?
if I were applause button or something so everybody because it's just it's basically just me you're hearing applause from me but I'm representing h half the world right now yes you know, bless you, Scott. yes you know what <laughs> actually there is an applause button did you know that did you know that Google Hangout actually has an applause button oh cool uh, well we'll have to figure out look for it now, but they do. is that a new song I don't, I don't think I've heard that one before <laughs> uh, for those of you <laughs> for those of you who don't know or don't know <laughs> For those of you who don't know Jana, that's one of her classics, and it's a beautiful song, and it's probably been sung and heard tens of thousands or millions of times, so it's a beautiful song. Thank you for starting off with that. And I know the two of you are going to alternate, switch off during this hour, and uh, why aren't we going to do one of uh, Nathan's songs now? Okay, sure. Go for it. This one is off my uh, Yes CD, and it's called A Wholehearted Life, and I just, uh, yeah, I thought it was the perfect song to sing today, but just just saying yes to living living uh, full out. In fact, the phrase that I use is living our actual size. That's what this whole song is about. And uh, if you want to sing along, including you, Mr. Johnson, feel free. <laughs> I want to have a wholehearted life, a wholehearted life. Well, no matter what's done or left undone, I belong and I'm in love. A wholehearted life, a wholehearted life, or I'm worthy, I'm worthy of love. This looking for certainty is really exhausting me. Perfect though I try to be, I have not been. Alone with my guilt and shame, afraid of more pain and blame. I'm not meant to stay in the game that I can win. Time to make myself a brand new choice. I want to have a wholehearted life, a wholehearted life. Well, no matter what's done or left undone, I belong and I'm in love. A wholehearted life, a wholehearted life, for I'm worthy, I'm worthy of love. So I choose to be set free, take responsibility. Stand in vulnerability, speak my heart. To get love, I must give love. To belong, I must reach out. To find the truth, I must be true and play my part. Cause owning my story and loving myself too are the bravest things I'll ever do. I want to have a wholehearted life, a wholehearted life, where no matter what's done or left undone, I belong and I'm enough. A wholehearted life, a wholehearted life, where I'm worthy, I'm worthy of love. One more time with feeling. I want to have a wholehearted life, a wholehearted life. When no matter what's done or left undone, I belong and I'm enough. A wholehearted life, a wholehearted life, for I'm worthy, I'm worthy of love. I'm worthy, worthy, worthy of love, worthy. 
worthy, worthy of love. You try it, Scott. Worthy, worthy, worthy of love. Worthy, worthy of love. I'm able to love. I'm able, able, able to love. Able, able to love. Just the men. Able, able, able to love. Able, able to love. Just the women, I'm worthy of. Able, worthy, 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 worthy of love. I'm worthy, worthy, worthy of love. Worthy, worthy of love. You're fired. Woo! Thanks. Big applause, big applause. <laughs> Just like we rehearsed it. Okay, that's a, that's a new one, you're saying. Yes, sir. Yeah. On my second TV, yeah. Cool, I like it. I like it a lot. And I, for those of you that don't know, uh, Nathan is, is it's the Chapman stick. Is that right? It's a kind of Chapman stick. Yes, it's uh, yeah. And so for people who have never seen it, it's basically a bass and a, a guitar in one. So this is my little demo. You can pluck it, pluck it like a bass. Yeah. You can strum it like a guitar. But the cool thing is, you can just tap it with both hands, so you get two parts at once, like on a piano. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Well, let's um, let's let's go to Jana, and then we'll throughout this, we'll talk a little bit about the Pixel Project and encourage people to to donate. Where our goal was to raise five thousand dollars. Um, there's lots of good goodies that you all have given, all the artists have given, and there's uh, there's an autographed uh, ukulele by Colby Calais, which is cool, and uh, all the great music that you guys have donated. So, um, but we'll let's start with them to get, go for, with another song and and. Uh, all right. Yeah. I, I want the ukulele. Just just saying. What? There's a brave soul inside I'm still longing to be Buried so deep she's like a distant memory She's sick and tired of waiting, holding her breath Wants to wake up and shake up the life I've got left There's someone in my mirror Whose voice keeps getting clearer Asking what would I do this year If I had no fear No fear here So I'm making a list of things I haven't done in life And my whiny ass excuses for why I've never tried The Palomino never written The piano never played And I realize there's nothing That I can't start today There's someone in my mirror Whose voice keeps getting clearer Asking what would I do this year if I had no fear? No fear here. No fear here. Da -da 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 -da. No fear here. Da -da 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 -da. No fear here. Da -da 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 -da. Starting with my A-list, Africa and Asia, Auckland, Antarctica, Alaska, and Australia. Next comes my B-list, be confident, be brave, be daring enough to refuse to behave. Yes, someone in my mirror whose voice keeps getting clearer asking what would I do this year if I had no fear 
No fear here. No fear here. Da 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 da. No fear here. Da da da. Nice. Another good one. <laughs> That's a good birthday song. What would I do this year if I had no fear? That's a good question we should all ask ourselves. That's a good Yeah. One. And you know, um, one of the things about violence against women is that people are afraid to say something if they see something. And um, the better way to think of it is if you see something or you hear something, say something. Right, yeah. It's good to be, first to be aware of it, speak it, do something about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. We know there are many women who have wished someone had heard and would call and uh, report what they hear because the women in this situation are often afraid of the retribution that can come if they report it themselves. Yeah. So they're depending on other people to help. Yeah, yeah. And Jana, by the, the for the audience, Jana uh, has done a lot of uh, workshops and women retreats and, and and things like that. A lot of women empowerment kind of workshops and things. And I, um, you know, what people might not know is that I was a television news reporter for the first four years of my adult career after college. And um, one of the series that I did was Women Who Kill. And, uh, yeah. And uh, what we find out is that most women who kill um, do that in self defense. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's often a spouse. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, an abuser. And they feel that they have no, no way out, other option. No. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. You know, but, one of the things that uh, was true when I did the series is that the number one way a woman would kill would be with a knife. Now, doesn't that sound strange? Unless you think of it's in the kitchen, she's making dinner, and that's what's handy at the moment. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I haven't, I haven't heard that. Yeah, you know, I haven't heard that story before. But yeah, it shows you how desperate some people have to become. But um, yeah, they, they yeah. Like so, there's no way out. What we can do is report it. What we can yeah. do is make it not okay. Just not okay in any way. Yeah, yeah. And I think uh, as musicians, what we what we do, and a lot of as musicians that are using music to inspire and heal and so forth is, is to get the message out about self-empowerment or speaking up, um, speaking the truth, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. It's, it's, uh, it's, we're all in this together. It's a community. The individual that are the victim of it needs to you know, find the strength to, to stand up and speak out. The friends and family need to have the courage too to stand up and speak out too. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Nathan, you're up. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. What you gonna uh, do? I, I, by the way, I love your uh, your little your caption here. Can Canada U.S. Love Partnership. <laughs> you know, places of understanding among countries. Exactly. We're we're doing we're doing our best to in, to increase and enhance cross border relations. It sounds like fun to me. It's been great. Fun. Yeah, it is. I just came back from Thailand and Cambodia. Came straight to Vancouver, yeah. and uh, it's wonderful to be here. Yeah. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so the song that uh, the song that I want to share next, Scott, is called "I Can See You," and uh, yeah, it's I offer it as a, a song for people who are afraid to share their stories. People who are afraid to. Uh, let people in and, and share their hurt because they don't feel safe enough. So this mm -hmm. is this is an encouragement 
or people who are afraid to show themselves to do that, that there are people who do care and do want to listen. I can see you. 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 You made your debut, all shiny and new. Your heart and hands open wide. You wore a big grin, you drank it all in. Your happiness justified. Till that final scene with the king and queen scared away that shine. And I can see you barely breathing and still in that tidal way. I can see you huddled deep in the dark of that tiny cave. Alone and displaced, you painted your face and learned how to work the crowd. You mastered the art, playing it smart, and feelings were not allowed. Since that final scene with the king and queen, that's been your solemn vow. And I can see you huddled deep in the dark of that tiny cave. I can see you barely breathing and still in that tidal way. I think it's time you had your say. It's no longer yesterday. You'll be safe now and I promise I'll be with you all the way. You can laugh and sweat and shake. Cry until you wake, you can kick and scream and fight, you can keep me up all night, I will listen while you do, remember what is true, that you're not the one to blame, and it's time to end this game, cause I can see you, I can see you, I can see you, I can see you. I can see you barely breathing and still in that massive tidal way. I can see you huddled deep in the dark of that tiny little cave. Yes, I can see you, I can see you, I can see you, I can see you, I can see you. No. That's an appropriate song. That's a great one. Thanks. Uh, Thank you, is that another new one? What's so that? I haven't heard these. Uh, well, maybe you haven't heard them uh, just me because that, that's on Little by Little. Okay. Little okay. by Little, of course, I've got drums and all kinds of other things yeah. going on. Yeah. The color of it when I play yeah. on it. Good. Scott, are you doing one of these concerts? Because in case people don't know, Scott is a wonderful musician, yeah. songwriter, and singer. I'm I'm not. I'm I'm a moderator, so <laughs> maybe yeah. next time. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, I'm gonna bring up right now, I'm just gonna uh, bring up um, I'm gonna click on me and um, back out a little bit so I'm not quite so close up. Um, I'm going to show share my screen here of this um, of where you can go to uh, donate. Um, just bear with me a second here. So this is this is where you can donate. Um, HTTP colon slash slash is dot gd dot get noisy. IGG 2015. It's an Indiegogo campaign, um, and you can learn more about uh, this concert at uh, is.gd slash get north of 2015. Um, I am stop that. Get back to you guys, and um, Jen. I know you do a lot of you do a lot of touring around the world. I know you do some work. Uh, you have uh, let's see, orphans in Bali that you 
go to Bali um, fairly frequently to work mm -hmm. there. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, uh, actually, the girls, um, we originally uh, considered them orphanage because they call their school and their their home an orphanage, but mm. it's a foster home. Uh, in Bali, children always belong to their extended family, just like on uh, an Indian American Indian reservation, uh, where people always belong to their tribe and their family. So it's the same in Bali. I've just come from um, doing work with Together We Can Change the World in Cambodia and Thailand and in all of those countries what we're doing is keeping girls in school so all of our efforts are to prevent bad things from happening to girls when they drop out of school. We also support the girl effect which tells us that for every year we keep girls in school worldwide we raise the socioeconomic level of the countries they live in. Mm -hmm. It makes a huge impact for girls to stay in school um, so that they, they marry later, they have children later, and they have more options for supporting themselves and their families for every year that they stay in school. Yeah, well, that's great. I, th I really think the education, if we can get keep girls in school as long as we can, uh, just like yeah. you said, I think that's one of the biggest things we could help, you know, help yeah. the, the and, societies around the world. With. And for the Pixel Project, you know, we know that um, one of the things that keeps women in situations of violence is they feel they have no other options. So the more education we can give girls, just generally, and the more we can educate them that they do have options, the better. So this next song is a song that um, has been used in many different ways. One of the ways is in Cambodia, and so you can go to YouTube, and uh, in Cambodia, their original culture is called the Khmer culture. It's spelled K-H-M-E-R. We might say Khmer as in Khmer Rouge, mm -hmm. but it, they pronounce it Khmer. So Khmer Rouge um, was the takeover of the Khmer people um, a long time ago. But uh, Khmer is their culture. So I changed the song instead of every awesome woman to every Khmer woman. And you can see the video on there where we're showing uh, Cambodian girls what you can do as jobs and careers if you do stay in school. So we show a lot of Camb Cambodian women who got an education and do have options in their lives. And the video was shot by uh, Cambodian students, college students, who helped me on the video. Nice, nice, great. Yeah, it's a great video, and I, I love playing this song. So I have played this song a lot in Cambodia and Thailand for the last couple of weeks. Every awesome woman. Like a tiny speck of sand can grow into a pearl. Every awesome woman was once a little girl. A miracle of nature, brilliant by design. Like the summer sun, she was born to shine. Give a girl hope and opportunity. You will be amazed at all that she can be. Every awesome woman was once a little girl with the power to change her world. Ah, 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 ah. The heart of every girl is like a tiny seed. With a little help, she can be a mighty tree. With roots so deep, she can reach for the sky. She can build a better world. She's not afraid to try. Ah. Give a girl hope and opportunity. You will be amazed 
at all that she can be. Every awesome woman was once a little girl with the power to change her world. Ah, ah, ah. With education, she'll have no limitation. She can build her children's expectations. But when she's given what's essential, her potential is exponential. And her potential is exponential. Give a girl hope. Opportunity, you will be amazed at all that she can be. Every awesome woman was once a little girl with the power to change her world. It's, it's, it's kind of like I'm having my own private concert here, because, <laughs> but, but I am representing everybody else who can't be applauding for you right now. So. Oh, I think I love that. I have seen, I think, one of the initial videos of that, where you had people send in awesome things that they did and, and things yeah, like that. Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yes. lots, of, yes. lots of music. You know what? We should do a Mother's Day version. I know you've been posting uh, photos of your awesome mom lately. And uh, a Mother's Day version where people could send in pictures of their moms. Wouldn't that be a cool video? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, all right. Another Facebook project. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Great. I love it. All right, Nathan. Yeah. Uh, well, here's a fun one. This is, uh, this is a song about um, song that I wrote about that place that we can all get into uh, that sticky place of indecision where we, we really need to make a choice and we just can't. Our fear just keeps us stuck on the fence. So I wrote a fun song called Jump Right In about getting us out of that place and getting us to, ma to make a decision either way. And uh, in, uh, in Western North American culture, I thought what, what icon best represents that, that uh, being stuck in that place of indecision and the answer that I came up with was Humpty Dumpty. So Humpty Dumpty figures prominently in the song. And again, this is a this is a simple song to uh, sing along with. It's a call and response. So Jana will sing uh, what I want everybody to answer, which is just I'm gonna have to jump right in. Jump right in. Just that. You're just gonna be imitating or not imitating, just repeating <laughs> what I do, and Jana will do it exactly where everyone should be answering. So here we go. Sitting up here on my high horse, sure do like the view. The grass looks greener on the other side, don't know what to do. If I keep all my options open, play it safe and wait, my whole life is going to pass me by. Time to step up to the plane, I'm going to have to jump right in. Jump right yes, in. Yes, I'm going to jump right in. Jump right you know, in. I'm going to jump right in. Find out I can fly. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty got a great call. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty back together again. Cause all they found where he landed was his shell and his clothes. His transformation was like total. 
To move forward, the universe I move to, and it's not what I do, it's how I do it. That's gonna see me through. Yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. Jump right yes, in. Yes, I'm gonna jump right in. Jump right yeah, in. I'm gonna jump right in. Find out I can fly four times down. Yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. Jump right yes, in. Yes, I'm gonna jump right in. Jump right you know, in. I'm gonna jump right in. Jump right in. Yes, I'm gonna jump right in. Jump right in. I'm gonna jump right in. Find out I can fly four times down. Yeah, I'm gonna jump right in. Jump right in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I have heard that one. That's a good one. <laughs> Just to jump right in. That's what we need to do sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That's my my thought about that is just yeah. If if anybody who is a part of this concert who's watching today and there's there's something that they have been hesitating to take action on. That's my yeah. that's my little loving nudge nudge to get off the fence for all of us to get off the fence. Yeah. And speak up, speak out, take a stand, yeah. make a difference in our world. <laughs> Um, you know, another thing that we can do to help is if we're suspecting something is going on for any woman is simply to have private time with her and ask. Mm. Um, to ask, maybe even tell our suspicions or our concerns. I'm concerned about you. I care about you. Mm -hmm. uh, here's what I've seen. Here's what I've noticed and this is my concern, and uh, just ask mm -hmm. if help is needed, and make it known that if help is needed, you would be there in an instant, yeah. or do whatever you could to help, so that uh, the woman knows she's not alone, knows that she's not the only one who knows about it, and knows that she has options, knows that there are people there to help. Yeah, yeah. Great advice. Yeah. So yeah, I challenge anybody out there listening, if, if you suspect a friend that's maybe going through something like this, talk talk to them. Just have a call them up. Have coffee with them and go, hey, how, is, how are things going? One of the first things we know that an abuser does is cut a woman off from her family and friends. Mm. And, you know, in the beginning she may be deeply in love and not care, but later on those family and friends may need to reach out to her. So if we are members of that family and friend group, it's up to us. We've got to reach out and get off the fence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. Well, we've got uh, we've got some more time for some more songs. So let's, uh, if people, if people have uh, any questions, they can they can type it in on on uh, Google Hangout or, or again on YouTube uh, as well. Go ahead. So this is the song that um, that put the platinum albums on my walls. It's called If I Had Only Known, and it's been heard in movies and on television. There are way too many deaths due to violence against women. And it's important for us to be able to look back and say, we would have helped if we had only known. If I had only known 
was our last walk in the rain. I keep you out for hours in the store. I would hold your hand like a lifeline to my heart. And underneath the thunder, we'd be warm. If I'd only know it was our last walk in the rain. If I had only known, I'd never hear your voice again. I'd memorize each thing you ever said. And on these lonely nights, I could think of them once more. Keep your words alive inside my head. If I had only known, I'd never hear your voice again. Come back, let me hold you one more time. Let me thank you for the difference you made in my life. If I had only known it was my last night by your side, I pray a miracle would stop the dawn. And when you smiled at me, I would look into your eyes and make sure you know my love for you goes on and on. If I had only known, if I had only That's a beautiful one. Actually, I don't even know if I've heard that one before. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the one that um, it's been recorded by Reba McIntyre and Andy Williams and uh, Tricia Yearwood did it on a big special at Thanksgiving and. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it's the one that was in the movie Eight Seconds, which was about a bull rider. Okay, I'm, I guess awesome. I was thinking of another another movie with Eminem. Isn't there another one? That was Eight Miles. It's Eight Miles. I was yeah. thinking. Eight, uh, no, um, Eminem did not use any of my I songs. Thought was, I thought that was that's called Eight Mile. He pretty much used his own songs. Uh, but in Eight Seconds, which is about a rodeo rider, that's uh, the number of seconds you need to stay on. Uh, in order to qualify uh, for a prize in riding a bull. Yeah. And so it's a true story about a bull rider named Lane Frost. Mm. Yeah. It's a good movie. It's uh, done by the guy who made uh, uh, Rocky and Karate Kid, so you don't have to care about karate or boxing or bull riding to really enjoy all those movies. Yeah. They're very well done. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's a great song for... Most anything, not just you know, yeah. abuse for women. But if you know somebody who's going through depression or, or something, some major uh, yeah. crisis in their life, reach out to them and and yeah. might just save it. Yeah, that's true. All right, Nathan, so, to do a yes. Um, before I before I play the song, I just wanted to say you know uh, something I wanted to mention earlier. Jana was talking about how when she goes over to um, these countries, uh, like and like the Khmer culture, and really encouraging uh, women to claim their authority and their power, 
Um, I have been doing men's work for a number of years, and I've uh, really made a decision to step more fully into leading men. And I really think that that's uh, the other half of the equation is we really need to let men feel safe and tell their stories and you know unravel uh, unravel why it is that some guys get to a place where violence seems like the only option. So I'm all about creating safe environments for men to share their stories. So I just wanted to throw that in. And so I think that that's, uh, this next song that I'd like to share is very much about that. I think that it really comes down to just two things. It comes down to fear or love. And given that choice, I'm always going to choose love. So that's what this song is, is an affirmation. I choose love. So many options, it's a challenge to know where to start. In a world of too many points of view, which one is true? I sought the silence and the wisdom that once filled my heart. Offered peace again like a trusted friend can often do. It said two roads are calling out to me, one of danger, one of certainty. So I've decided if it's fear or love, I choose love. Only two roads, it comes down to this, one of suffering, one of gentle bliss. I've decided if it's fear or love, I choose love. As sure as sunrise, we are all meant to be on this earth. Each an artisan of the master plan, humanity. Let's stand together and reclaim what's been ours since our birth. Our right to be you and me. There are two roads calling out to me, one of danger, one of certainty. I've decided if it's fear or love, I choose love. Only two roads, it goes down to this, one of suffering, one of gentle bliss. I've decided if it's fear or love, I choose love. And the more I decide to make love my guide, the sweeter the ride that life provides. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. to me, one of danger, one of certainty, I decided, if it's fear or love, I just love love, only two roads, it comes down to this, one of suffering, one of gentle bliss, I decided, if it's fear or love, I choose love, I decided, if it's fear or love, I choose love. 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 Wise advice for sure. Yeah, yeah, you you brought you brought up a good point. It really is. Um, men need to work on a lot of stuff, you know. And if they can create safe environments for men to express 
all that stuff that's bottled up and not allowed to be easily expressed in our culture and different cultures around the world. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a big part of it. Yeah, one of the first things that I say on the on my men's retreats is that men are fully capable of expressing all of their feelings as completely as women are. And the reality is that men get uh, squished or, or squashed around expressing their tears and women get squashed around suppressing their anger. So mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. amazing the way that stuff kind of just interlocks. And so, yeah, it's all about all of us reclaiming the ability to release all that stuff in a, in a safe way with people who, yeah. who care about us. Yeah. Well, let me, um, we may have time for one more song, but I, I also just want to uh, just acknowledge you guys. If, if people are interested in, in your music, janostanfield.com, that's J-A-N-A, stanfield.com, and nathanaswell.com, that's Nathan, N-A-T-H-E-N-A-S-W-E-L-L.com. And um, let me bring up the uh, slide one more time for the Pixel Project where you can donate. Hold on just a second as I share my screen here. Um, I think you can see. By the way, as you find that, we also want to let people know that the next show coming up is going to be wonderful with uh, Harold Payne, one of our beloved friends, great songwriter. Uh, thanks for the shout out. Yeah, he, he definitely is a wonderful, wonderful guy and a good friend. So yeah, just um, you know, donate uh, the Indiegogo campaign. Again, http colon slash slash is dot gd slash Get Noisy IGG 2015. There's also, if you just have PayPal, there's also a way to um, pay that way. Um, and again, learn more about this uh, concert and the Pixel Project, is.gd get slash Get Noisy 2015. Um, let's see, do we have, we have uh, a couple minutes left. Um, about a minute and fifteen. Minute fifteen. Okay, so we probably don't have time for a song, but um, it was great to have you got you two um, singing. It was wonderful that you could do it together. Um, I'm glad you came back from overseas so you could do this, Jenna. Yeah. Uh, I just I just want to give you a little love, Scott. I mean, you know, you you are responsible for so many of us being friends, and if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be. Uh, sitting beside Jenna right now. It's because of the Positive Music Association that so many of us came together. So thank you for the part you played. And when I heard that you were you were moderating this part of today with us, I thought, how perfect is that? It feels like a real f full circle moment. So that's great. I mean, it's it's so rewarding and fun to see <laughs> the connections, especially connections like you two, and and just all the other wonderful people, musicians that are around the world that are um, just. Great, doing some great stuff, great musicians, and just great human beings, and 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 connecting them, and and uh, we plan to, I plan to do a lot more of that through uh, World Singing Day and with Boz Music Associates and so forth. But uh, it's it's my great pleasure to know you guys. I love you guys, and and uh, so many others from from our our crowd, so our tribe. Um, so yeah, well, great. Thanks so much. Uh, for your time and uh, your thoughtful comments, and um, just and then of course the music and your, your talent and all of that. Um, we're gonna move over. Uh, you, I hope you can stay with us. Uh, we're gonna move over and to Harold, who's standing by. He's actually literally standing. Literally standing. Uh, and I'm literally gonna, standing. I'm gonna. Oh, okay. I'm gonna click on him. We'll say goodbye right. to. Nathan and Jana. We're right going to turn off our camera, but we'll be here. Yeah, you guys. And we'll, uh, we'll go no, over no, there. No. Can you hear me? Can so, you see Harold, me? I can hear you. And I can All see right, you. How about that? And uh, um, welcome. You're, you're our, our third artist in this fourth session of this 12 hour marathon online Google Hangouts Pixel Project fundraiser. Um, 
Let me just uh, tell the audience a bit about you. So Harold, I've, I've Harold, I've known you for a number of years too. I think probably since That's right. three or four. Um, Harold is a performing songwriter, has over a hundred recordings by acts as diverse as Patti LaBelle, Rod Stewart, and longtime collaborator, collaborator Bobby Womack, who passed away uh, fairly recently. Um, and from Peter, Paul, and Mary to Snoop Dogg. I mean, how often do you get to say that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to hear about the Snoop Dogg song. I don't, I don't know if that one. Anyway, I probably won't play that one. <laughs> you won't play that one, okay. Um, so Harold has also played in a whole bunch of different venues, um, from amphitheaters to community theaters to festivals to churches to the House of Blues to house concerts, from corporate events to private parties. Um, uh, Harold is known for his um, developed this unique um, thing of coming up with impromptu songs. Um, he'll I, I remember even the one he was on a plane one time, found out somebody had just gotten engaged, I think, or getting married or something. Yeah, got engaged. Yeah, got engaged, and so he um, ended up over the loudspeaker on the plane in air, sang a song. Right off the, you know, right off the cuff that you just wrote within <laughs> a few minutes, and um, something about a Mile High Club, but it was it was a great song. <laughs> it's on it's different a, kind of Mile High Club. Yeah, a different kind of Mile High Club, um, <clears throat> and um, he's uh, open for the likes of Van Morrison, Kenny Loggins, Pam Tillis, and um, Hawaii Legend. Uh, did you pronounce it Izzy or Is? It is Izzy or Israel Kamaka Viva Ole, I, the I guy that did the yeah, rainbow. Yeah, last name, but um, yeah, but I, I love his version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Um, yeah. Anyway, so Harold, uh, thanks for being here, spending your um, Saturday with us, and um, why don't you take it away? Okay, well, um, the first song I'm going to do is a song that uh, was inspired, I want to, well, I thought I'd start off with something international. And um, honored to be a part of this event, which is international. And uh, so um, this started off as a uh, trip to India. This is a song about um, a walk that I did in India, starting at Gandhi Ashram, uh, and walked from Ahmedabad to Delhi. And um, so um, I thought it was appropriate because it talks about taking one step in the right direction, and that's. That's what any of these causes that we're behind uh, require. So. I am a humble man from a village in India. I walk in the footsteps of those who've gone before. And this road I travel on will lift me up and make me strong. So when people ask me what this journey is for, if I take one step in the right direction, if I touch one heart along the way, that one step from the chain reaction and my journey has not been in vain I know no countries I know no governments I just know the people I've had the joy to meet and the only flag I know is this peace banner that I'll show when you see me walking down the street If I take one step in the right direction If I touch one heart along the way If that one step from the chain reaction Then my journey has not been in vain I get my inspiration from the words of the children who 
trying to teach myself what they already know. If I could show my fellow man what a child can understand, then the seeds that I have sown will surely grow. If I take one step in the right direction, if I touch one heart along the way, if that one step of the chain reaction, then my journey has not been in vain. If I take one step in the right direction, if I touch one heart along the way, if that one step becomes a chain reaction, yeah, then my journey has not been in vain. Got to say it again, if I take one step in the right direction, if I touch one heart along the way, if that one step becomes a chain reaction, mm -mm, then my journey has not been, has not been in vain. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Woo! Thank you. <laughs> I hadn't heard that one either. That's a good one. I like that. So thank um, you. Good advice for everybody. Just to, if they're suffering from a victim of violence or something, stepping, taking that one step for yourself or for a friend who's experiencing something like that. Um, good one. I like it. I like that one. Thank Good you. Answer. And I thought I'd stand because I'm used to standing. So hope that's okay. That's perfect. Perfect. And you got your, your uh, microphone hooked up and everything, so it's sounding good. Thank cool. you. All right. Why don't you so proceed to the next song here? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> this one has an interesting story to it. It's a song that I wrote with uh, Bobby Womack uh, some years ago. And I put it on a, an album I have called, called Positively Live, and it's called Break the Chain. And um, I got an opportunity to go to England with Bobby. He was working uh, on a project with Damon Albarn from Gorillaz and Blur. Um, and we did an album over there. Well, they wanted to do a solo album on Bobby because he had done a project with them. So um, Bobby said, well, I'll come if I can bring Harold. So, uh, and I was maybe unheralded to them I to know. a certain extent. They knew me as his co writer. And, but, um, oh, so, yeah, right. <laughs> so, as it turned out, uh, you know, they said if, he, if it works out, you know, then uh, he can, he's in. And then if not, he can get a two week vacation in England. So I thought, I, how could I lose? And for some reason, it had the song Break the Chain. And the opening lines to the song is, are, the bravest man in the universe is the one who has forgiven first. And they really liked that line a lot. And they had a track that fit the melody and words. And they wanted to, to merge the songs together. So this is, uh, this is the original version. But I ended up putting a little extra section in it that tied in with the other song as well. So this is... Break the chain with a little bit of Bravest Man in the Universe. Nice. The bravest man in the universe is the one who has forgiven first. The fighting cannot end when each one takes revenge. And peace can never come to the hearts of everyone till we break the chain. I felt the pain losing touch with a brother who I love 
love so much I know that I was wrong To let this carry on The precious time goes by We can't see eye to eye Till we break the chain The children play On the battlefield Among the bones And broken steel Where young men fought and died for someone's foolish pride and all their hopes and dreams can never come to be till we break the chain what kind of man can break the chain we need to pass and live again when each generation's sole occupation is to seek revenge it never ends, no payback from way back will bring back the things you never had. Hey, 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 break the chain. Break the chain. The bravest man in the universe is the one who has forgiven first the fighting cannot end but each one takes revenge the peace will never come to the hearts of everyone till we break the chain till we break the chain yeah. Till we break the chain, yeah. Break the chain of violence. Can't stand in silence, yeah. yeah. Break the chain. Woo! Nice, uh, you, you got a, a few people there in, the, in your studio. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank my friends uh, Rick and Sherry and Johnny and my brother Chris for uh, being my um, standby helpers. That uh, because you know I'm reasonably tech savvy, but uh, <laughs> they are way off the charts. They came over here to help and. I thank them. They may even right. join in on a song from the background because exactly. they're talented singers. Well, we thank them too. We thank them too. That's a very All fitting right. song for um, you know breaking the chain of violence. If you're, you know, again, you're the victim of it, or or you're coming from a family where maybe you're the men in the family have been very violent, um, and maybe you're one of the men that's stopping that, breaking that change chain. So, very appropriate song. That was a good one. Thank good. you. I just kind of felt that the last little part there. Just uh, felt yeah. like it went along with it. Yeah, yeah. Great. What's next? Uh, let's see. What's next is um, actually um, a ballad uh, here, um, and I'm looking for my capo. And I know it's around here. I have it right here, as a matter of fact, in my pocket. For those who don't know what a capo is, it's this little device here. I know you do, Scott. Thank you so much for doing this. Yeah, my pleasure. This is, uh, this is really a song that uh, <clears throat> someone was doing a talk about angels. And, and I didn't really have a song about angels, and I was going to learn someone else's. And, and it just it, it turned out to be easier for me to uh, come up with my own. And uh, these this is for all the angels that... Um, the uh, earth angels that, that step up and, and help folks out. Little girl looked in a 
other's eyes and ask a question that could only come from a child. Mommy, are there angels and do they really fly? Will I know what when I see one? This was her reply. Oh, angels I don't always wear wings. They live inside your hopes and dreams and dance around and moan. Echo from the silence of quiet acts of kindness. Oh, angels don't always wear there are little miracles that happen every day that never make the headlines or make a difference anyway. Do you remember how your grandma dried your tears? When you thought the world looked hopeless Then she'd magically appear Oh, angels Don't always wear wings They live inside your hopes and prayers Dance around your dreams They echo from the silence so kindness, oh angels, don't always wear me. There are moments in our life when we may not realize that we're in the comfort of a never ending love. Don't always wear wings. They live inside your hopes and prayers and they dance around your dreams. They echo from the silence of quiet acts of kindness. Oh, angel, don't always wear wings. Angel. Don't always wear wings. Angels don't always wear wings. Oh, angels don't always wear Cloud just got bigger there, I think. <laughs> I said, you know, neighbors just walked by and what came in. <laughs> Another beautiful song, thanks. Well, I think you know Thank one you. thing us musicians can do is is a lot of uh, musicians like from the Positive Music Association and other musicians um, really can do a lot by um, you know writing about stuff that's um, about issues like this or. Um, anything that's from the heart and meaningful that you know that that's not just about self-expression that but that can also inspire and and uh, change people's lives and and just like you Harold have uh, been committed to this kind of music for a long time and Jenna and Nathan and and uh, so many musicians on this uh, on this concert today um, and I, I just I would encourage more and more artists um, to to do stuff that makes a difference and maybe a, some struggles that they've gone through and express it through music that can inspire other people. Um, you know, it's good to see it. We, you know, there is plenty of positive music out there. Um, you know, some great stuff from like Michael Franti and even you know the Beatles certainly had lots of good positive messages. Um, 
There's Jason Mraz. There's a whole bunch out there. Um, some mainstream artists that are that are doing quite well. But I, I certainly encourage people out there who are musicians to um, to try to do something good with their music, and that's what we're trying to do. And Harold, you've been doing that for for many years, so it's good to have well, you. Uh, yeah. And and I also feel that just the act of playing something that make makes people feel better, yeah, going out more makes them feel better going out than when they came in, is a tiny increment, right, of, of that which yeah. which maybe in some small way helps them to go out to take one step in the right direction. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's see. We've got about uh, eight or nine minutes left. We've got a, a time for uh, another song or two. So, um, okay. how about it? <clears throat> okay, this is one uh, where I wrote with my friend Bunny Hole, who's a great writer who also co wrote um, New Attitude for Patti LaBelle, amongst others. But, um, so, it's called We Can Make a Difference. You talked about making a difference, and that's what this song is about. <laughs> You might even hear some background voices from somewhere We read the papers and we watch the news In quiet desperation It's easy to feel helpless Throw up our hands and say There's nothing we can do We can dream when we close our eyes or just stumble in the dark We have more power than we'll ever know In our hearts In our hearts whoa, 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 whoa. We can make a difference We can make a difference Touch somebody Touch somebody Yeah Got to love someone Oh oh. Oh, 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 we can make a difference, we can make a difference, a single candle in the dark can turn the dark into the light, oh, oh, one hundred monkeys sold a story gold. Cause the revolution And one by one they started A chain reaction That began an evolution The ocean started with a drop of rain The desert with one grain of sand All it takes is one to realize that we can, yes we can, oh, 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 we can make a difference in this world, touch somebody, touch somebody, yeah, got to love someone, oh, 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 oh. We can make a difference, we can make a difference. A single candle in the night can turn the dark into the light. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, yeah. By one. Yeah. Oh, 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 we can make a difference in this world. Touch somebody, touch somebody, yeah, gotta love someone. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 we can make 
make a difference. We can make a difference. A single candle in the night can turn the dark into the light. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 we can make a difference in this world. Touch somebody, touch somebody, yeah, got to love someone. Oh, oh, got to love someone. Mm -hmm. Got to love someone and love yourself too. Got to love someone. Oh, we got to do love someone. Mm -hmm. Got to love someone. I like your I like your uh, Rick, there. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they came to help and. And they helped. <laughs> Why not put that down to you? See, we're shy about jumping on the camera. Yeah. So Harold is, uh, is uh, generously provided a, a 20 minute Skype concert as far as um, what he's offered to this uh, fundraising campaign, plus a couple of uh, hand selected EPs for download. Um, it's the part of the, the Indiegogo fundraiser. Uh, you can donate to get the goodies at the fundraiser at uh, http colon slash us is dot gd slash get noisy igg 2012. Let me put that slide up one more time. Um, hold on just a second. I will share this here. Um, so that's that's where you go to donate and please if it's you know even if it's five bucks or ten twenty bucks whatever you can uh, we would appreciate that and we certainly appreciate Harold and all the other artists that are donating um, goodies for uh, today's fundraiser you can also uh, go to reveal.thepixelproject.net and find out about the the other artists that are coming up later uh, in the concert here. There's two more sessions, uh, two more two-hour sessions after this, um, and so we certainly encourage you to, to listen to them and support them and, and so forth. So um, I think we've got like a, a minute and a half or so left, Harold. Um, I don't know if that's, do you have a, you have a minute and a half song? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll make one up, but uh, go ahead, make one up about why not? The, uh, about the Pixel Project right now. <laughs> All right, why not? Why not? Oh, any particular musical style uh, you want? <laughs> see, let's see, let's go see. So many incredible artists have joined this cause. Brothers and sisters and mothers-in-law, yeah, everybody wants to see the change in the world, change in the world. And to my fellow artists, I recognize your talent and your gifts, yeah, you're all high on my list for the Pixel Project today, and Regina from Malaysia. We appreciate what you've done, and of course, Scott, for all you got to give to the world, and a little bit of fun to the Pixel Project. A few seconds left. <laughs> I want to give my compliments to the chef who put it all together, these incredible ingredients for the Pixel Project today. <laughs> Brilliant. Hopefully I made it in five. That was great. That was great. <laughs> this is all recorded, so we can listen. We can watch this again. So uh -oh. That was. <laughs> so, thanks so much, Harold, for for taking part in today's uh, fundraiser and concert, 
and thank your um, support team, your tech and backup team there. Um, yes, them there. Rick Cowling yeah. and Sherry Jersey, my brother Chris Payne. Right on. Thank you very much. And Johnny. Cool. Well, thanks so All much. Right. Thank we'll you. Yeah, you're you're welcome to stay on and and listen to Juliet. Juliet's coming up right now, so you can mute your once you get off. You can mute your uh, your microphone and and so forth. Anyway, thanks so much, Harold. Okay, thank you, thank you for all you do. I got to head out to play at the Montage in Laguna today, so thank you so much. Appreciate it. And Juliet. Hi. Yeah. Hello there, Juliet. <laughs> Is it? Do you pronounce your last name Waybrett? Correct. Okay, very good. So not a lot of people get that right on the first the first try. So, yeah, so, good job. Right. <laughs> so thanks for sticking around. I know you've had to wait for a while and, and but Oh, it's all good. I've been enjoying yeah. the music. <laughs> yeah. Well let me let me tell everybody a little bit about yourself and you can feel free to chime in too. So um, Juliet is a native Californian. Yes. <laughs> like, like me, I was born and raised in the Bay Area. You were born and raised in Lodi, California, which is in the Central Valley there. And uh, in 1993, our children, our our daughters, are are were born before that, actually. <laughs> so you're quite accomplished for 20, 21. Where are you? 22. 21. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you grew up playing a variety of musical instruments, and around 2007 you began writing your own music and lyrics. Um, you have your own uh, YouTube channel, Juliet Originals, um, and uh, you released uh, your first five song EP, Back to Life, in 2012. 2015, uh, you went uh, on your second Northwest Southwest tour with pop bunk punk band between California and Summer. I have not heard of them. <laughs> They're awesome. Yeah. They're going to be doing great things. They're young, but Cool. Cool. <laughs> um, and this is this is impressive. Your YouTube channel exceeds over 8 million views. That's a lot of views. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> okay, congratulations. I probably have maybe 100. I don't know. <laughs> so and um, and so you're living in Los Angeles now. I am. Yeah, you've been there for a few years now, or almost four years. Okay, yeah, and uh, you're just making a go of uh, music there. In the yeah, in the I actually, um, my lease is up in September, and after that, I'm gonna head to Nashville. Another good music. So, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> a new adventure on the way. Good, good. Well, if you need any contacts, we, we have, uh, I've got contacts in Nashville as far as other musicians that might, might be able to hook you up if you're interested. So. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, I had a chance to listen to a little bit of your music last night, and it was I loved it, great stuff. Um, and uh, so why don't, you, uh, why don't you have at it? All you, right, yeah. awesome. Um, I'm a bit under the weather, got a cold, but you know, that's not stopping me from being here today. <laughs> I'm going to do the best that I can. Um, I'm going to start off with a song that I wrote last year. Um, it was in honor of Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month, um, but this song could go anyway with, um, it, anybody could relate to it, to who's going through anything, and, and it basically just reassures them that they're loved and they're accepted. And um, that uh, everything's going to be okay. So uh, this song is called The Fire in You. I know it's hard to go on when you feel alone. Lost in the midst of all the thoughts inside your head It doesn't seem like the pain is yet to come and leave And you're stuck under a pile of chains that allows you to live in. Let me tell you now what's all in your mind You will see the sun in a matter of time So don't you dare 
you got the fire in you to make it through another day. You got the fire in you to stay. So let it burn through the bed and fly through the quicksand. You know it's true. I wish we had a, an applause uh, <laughs> to hear other people's applause from around the world. <laughs> that will represent them here. But so nice. I, 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 the wonderful thing about for me, um, music has always been my therapy. You know, I've always gone to the piano and just whatever's going on with me, I just it's easy for me just to express it that way. Absolutely, I I, I agree. I can relate 100%. And I think that you know that's um, that's why. People love music and love to listen to singer-songwriters and stuff because it's it's very personal stuff that they can, you know you share it and they can relate to it. And Absolutely. We talked earlier about that uh, um, you've had some challenges with depression and stuff, and I also I had some uh, especially in college, and boy, if I wasn't able to sing about it, I don't know if I would have gotten through it. You know. Exactly. I and, yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. Be able to be able to share that. That struggle through music with others, um, if they're you know suffering from violence in the home or depression or anxiety, whatever it is, um, right. that's the power of music. So um, I commend you for you know for singing about singing about your your life and um, inspiring others to to carry on and, and keep on. There's always hope. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right. What's the what's the next song we get to hear? All right. Okay, next song. Um, I think I'm gonna sing. Yeah, we're gonna go with an old one I wrote a long time ago when I was probably a junior in high school. Uh, I must have been 17, I think. <laughs> um, but uh, this one's called "The Secret," and it's about um, you're going through a hard time and you're not able to speak about it with other people, but you have this this basically this mask over your face and everyone thinks you're okay but inside there's just you're just it's killing you whatever is going on with you and mm -hmm. um, 
So again, I mean, I think a lot of people can relate to this, um, especially people who watch me on YouTube and, and tell me, like, wow, like, I, now I don't feel like I'm alone anymore after hearing your song about anxiety and depression and all this stuff. And, and, uh, and it, most people don't like to speak out about that stuff. And um, it, it can feel embarrassing, but in reality, you really have no idea how many people are going through the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this song is about holding it all in. And mm -hmm. FYI, you don't need to. Just You can talk to people. <laughs> people love you. People people can relate to you, and, and nothing's wrong with you. Everything's good, and, yeah. and no one's going to judge you. So uh, this one is called The Secret. People can relate to that. Pretty much all any age, teenage. Oh yeah. It doesn't really matter. I think. Right. <laughs> Especially like if, you know this Facebook culture, where it seems like you know people's lives are all so nice on Facebook, but 
Oh yeah, totally. It's shallow, totally. but um, yeah. Anyway, we want to be real. That's what we want to do. And, True. Yeah. yeah, social media can be such a mask to who someone truly is. You know, you you want to show your happiest, most beautiful self on the internet, but right. right. You know. We're not perfect, are we? And yeah, nobody's <laughs> perfect. <laughs> live sometimes and stuff, but um, um, yeah. So if people want to, and I'm not even sure if my Q and A thing is working, but um, if people would like to post a question to you, um, they need to log into their Google account and click on the screen to see it pop up with the Q and A space on the right. Um, that might be, not be intuitive for a lot of people, but um, then you can you can type your question in the Q and A section. But um, tell us how how did you get involved with the Pixel Project, and did Regina reach out to you? And she did. I believe it was back in January or February. Uh, she emailed me and and invited me to be a part of this, and I immediately was like, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm always I'm always down to be a part of good causes like this and uh -huh. and and helping people out and and I mean there's I put it on my calendar so yeah. long ago <laughs> and here we are today yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. thank you Regina this is an amazing an amazing project that you yeah have. Regina and her team have put a lot of volunteer hours I mean it's all volunteer they've um, you know hundreds of hours, thousands of hours into the Pixel Project and raising awareness about about this uh, violence against women issue. It's a, a global issue. It's, it's you know, I think to a lot of us, like for me, why I didn't grow up with the violence or didn't have any of that kind of stuff in my household or my circle of friends, it just seems so obvious, like, well, sure, let's just not... <laughs> I mean, why would you do that? Why right, you, right. Because you know, so, it's it's so critical for our our healthy society, not just the women themselves. I mean, it's 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 damaging for everybody in society um, to have this any kind of violence against anybody, obviously. But um, it's such an issue with women. But um, anyway, so thank you for being a part of this. And I know also you're you're giving away as part of the fundraiser on. Um, and you go go uh, a twenty minute Skype concert, yeah. Private Skype concert, which is really cool. I've done those before, and they're really meaningful because it's just you and this other person, and it's really nice. It's a great intimate way to to um, to perform, uh, and a download of one of your songs. And um, again, people can go to um, it's HTTP. And let me, I'll put it back up on the screen here, just a second. Um, and uh, I will, should be coming up there momentarily. So it's uh, for the Indiegogo campaign, you can see the URL there, http colon slash slash is dot gd slash get noisy igg for Indiegogo uh, 2015. So, um, yeah, if you want to find out more about other, uh, the there's two more two-hour sessions after Juliet's um, today. Uh, you can find out who's playing and and the URLs to those Google Hangouts on uh, reveal.thepixelproject.net. Um, let me get rid of that screen and get back to you. Um, so cool. Why don't we've got uh, about ten more minutes? Um, what's what's next? All right. Um, I'm going to cover. Um, I actually was reminded of this song um, when I was just browsing through the Pixel Pixel Project website. Um, it's uh, "Skyscraper" by Demi Lovato, and I remember when this song came out, and I covered it on YouTube back in high school, and and. And I hadn't listened to it in so long, and and I saw it posted up on the website somewhere, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to sing this. Cool. <laughs> so um, it, I I love Demi Lovato, and I don't know if you know her story, but she she struggled with an eating disorder, and she has she she has bipolar disorder, and and she's so much better now. But but this song is about 
just everything that was trying to take her down inside of her and and she was just not gonna let it do that she was gonna mm -hmm. rise up from the ground and defeat it and um, I think with any situation this can be related to this song so um, so yeah here's skyscraper by Demi Lovato Skies are crying, I'm watching, catching two drops in my hands. Only silence as it's ending, like we never had a chance. Do you have to make me feel like there's nothing left of me? You can take everything I am. You can take everything I have like I'm made of glass, like I'm made of paper. Go on and try to tear me down. I will be rising from the ground like a skyscraper. Like a skyscraper. As the smoke clears, I awaken and entangle you from me. Would it make you feel better to watch me while I bleed? All my windows still are broken, but I'm standing on my feet. You can take everything I have. You can break everything I am. Like I'm made of glass. Like I'm made of paper. Go on and try to tear me down. I will be rising from the ground. Like a skyscraper. Like a skyscraper. I only know Demi Lovato from, uh, she was a, uh, one of the judges on, on uh, what was it, America's Got no. Oh, I think X Factor or, or America's Got Talent, one of those. The X Factor, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know her story, so the, thank you for that. Yeah, she is an amazing role model. Great, good. I mean, she seemed like a, a nice, a good person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, cool, well, I think we have we have time for one more song. Cool. Uh, all right, I'm gonna finish it off with um, another original. It's called Sleet, Sleet uh -huh. Ice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, and this one's about, um, again, going through a hard time, but but knowing there's always a light at the end of the tunnel and there's always a way out, and it's not the end of the world. Yeah. So there's Sleet. I won't let you 
control I'm already cold I need you here You don't like the snow We're standing on ice This fragile is life But you'd feel safer Not making a sacrifice of freezing temperatures Severe thunderstorms Believe me that it's worth We're sleeping on sleeps, but you still make me happy. We're scared of falling, but I know we'll see the clearing. Fall into my arms, a place of feel calm. Warm you back up, felt the frost off the hall. So you can remember that it's not the end, just a temporary downfall. We're cutting up with freezing temperatures, severe thunderstorms. Believe me that it's worth Well, thanks so much, Juliet. We're we're at, we need to get off here for the next um, next session uh, with four new artists. And but thanks again for your talent, and your time, your delightful young lady. And oh, thank you. <laughs> good luck. Good luck with in Nashville, and so um, and keep uh, singing what's real for you and sharing it with people and inspiring others and and. Uh, so happy you could be part of the Pixel Project uh, campaign today and hope we can uh, raise some money and some awareness for the good work that Pixel Project is doing. And again, people can go to, um, I find that the easiest way, just go to thepixelproject.net, click on the first slider and it'll get you right to the, the Music for Pixel concert. If you wanna see what's coming up, um, the next artist you can you can check that out and click on the link for that google hangout um you can also go to the google uh donate on indiegogo from there too but thanks again juliet and uh, it, was, it was beautiful music and and uh, thanks for being a part of it of course thank you for having me <laughs> okay see you later bye 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 bye, -bye.